shall. They shall show forth my praise. I feel like I'm in a room with a group of people who have that revelation of what the Word says right there, that you have been given the very life and breath that you have. Hallelujah. And your greatest purpose is to praise the Lord. You know that the very reason you're alive, number one, is to praise the Lord. That's your greatest purpose in life. That's why you feel so good when you praise the Lord. That's what you're good. It's your greatest purpose. That's what <laughs> God made you for. And I feel like today he's just ready and looking for somebody that will give him praise, honor, and glory in this house. And you know what the Bible says about praise? It says when we praise the Lord, it breaks the shackles, it lifts the heaviness. Ooh. And I just felt like that from the beginning of the service, that today was a praise party. I think yeah. I told you that. So my, I, don't, I don't know what my, we want to do, but there's know, a praise in God's people. If you're praising the house, tell everybody around you there's a praise on this road. <laughs> Yeah, there's a praise on this road right here. Come on, come on, tell everybody that there's a praise on this hey, when I think about Jesus, there's a praise on this road. Hallelujah. I said there's a praise on this road. I've got a praise that gives a victory. I got a shout that fills the enemy. Hallelujah. Listen, several months ago, Hallelujah. I changed, we changed everything. I felt like the Lord said to do it. We went to one service on purpose so we can entertain moments like this. Hallelujah. And I don't know what you're looking for, but it's in the room right now. If you will praise the Lord. John, where you at? standing here this moment and this morning I heard the Lord say your church is on another level this house is on another level are there any praises here John sing, sing whatever you feel but let's praise the Lord somebody lift up a body shout it Yay. the Lord is worthy of it Yay.
in me, I'm bringing deliverance into the room. I heard the Lord say, people don't even know it, but there's deliverance in their dance. Now, I'm not saying you got to dance like everybody else, but you at least have to move your feet. You at least ought to do something. Because God said, I'm delivering people from poverty. I'm delivering people from sickness. I'm delivering people from depression. I'm delivering people from addiction. I'm delivering people from fear. Come on, give God a praise. Sing some. He's been good. He's been good. Yeah. 
is the story of them all. Jesus, he was dying and the devil had a ball. The demons were rejoicing, they thought they won the war. But soon they would not be laughing anymore. On resurrection morning, the sun woke up the earth. The caverns of the deep, they opened up his to the birth. To a resurrected Savior, revealing in his wings. And now tell me, tell me, tell me, rise and sing, say, I.
Street. No, we won't. owners, those that are involved in business, she just began to say, we need to tell business owners, people that need a prophet, that need a, a prosperity breakthrough, or you're believing God to bless you, how many of you can say, I'm going to another level, even with my resources, sing it, come on, sing it, say, you're going to another level, come on, prophesy yeah. over people. said I'm releasing joy and hope power and strength the Lord said you've never been alone you've never been alone you've never been alone you've never been alone hallelujah you say well I felt like I was by myself the Lord said I had to get you by yourself to get you to yourself Hallelujah, I had to remove every distraction. You are not alone, you are not alone. I feel hope in the room right now. I feel joy in the room right now. Raise your hands and receive it. Mm. Raise your hands and receive it. Hallelujah. Save me so much better. Y'all, I think I'm going to preach, but I just want to, I'm going to sit in this moment for a minute. Hallelujah. Just got my ear to what the Spirit wants. Somebody say hallelujah, hallelujah. CD. 
Maria Mananamai. God's about to do some things in here that's going to absolutely disrupt the plans of the enemy. God is about to set some people free. Oh, I need somebody who's ready for the river. Just give God a praise right now. Come on. No, no, I want, I want anybody who's ready for the river. Open up your mouth and give God praise because the river is in the house. Now, now, listen, when we move into moments like this, you need to jump in because I have preached thousands of messages and y'all know how much I love to preach. But there is something in here that doesn't require a sermon. There is something in the room from another world. That's why, that's why I'm allowing this because I know God is in it. What did I, I've had this feeling the last 24 hours what did I tell you last night, babe? Yeah, last night he looked at me and said, if God wants to come in the room tomorrow, I'm open to whatever he has. So you kind of know if he if starts feeling that way, you know, or just you come with your ears open and just waiting on him. And sometimes he'll preach, but then sometimes it's the Lord saying so, that. So if Jesus and his power is in the room. That's right. Why don't we're we let open. him do what Jesus does? We want to be open. Yeah, like Amen. Amen. I was in the shower this morning. Don't picture it. You don't, it's something you don't <laughs> want to picture. But I was in the shower this morning, and I'm telling you, the Holy Ghost came on me. I was praying in tongues. I thought, man, I'm about to fall out in my own shower. Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah. 
But God said, I'm about to do a work of deliverance Praise in the hearts God. of the people today. We need it. See, the preacher God that doesn't deliver is to preach no God at all. And the Lord said, I'm going to get specific now. How many of you want to go through in this river with me? Anybody? You want to just go in this prophetic river? Thank you, Jesus. Come on. I travel the nation doing this, and I, I feel like it's time to do it at home today. So if you're here today, the Lord said, I'm going to break prescription drug addiction today. Jesus, thank you. He said, there are people in the room, they don't even know how they got there. They don't even know how they arrived, but they are wrestling right now this morning with a prescription drug addiction. And the Lord said, if they'll step out and step up, I'm going to start setting people free. If you're wrestling with a prescription drug addiction, get up here right now. Listen, there ain't, ain't no shame in here. So if you need to get set free, come up here right now. 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 Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. God said, I'm breaking prescription drugs. That's it. Come, come on the stage. I want you to come on the stage. I want you to come on the stage. Sha-da-da-da-bo-sha-da. Rababa, where, where are my people at that believe he still breaks the yoke of addiction? Hallelujah, hallelujah. I need somebody to praise the Lord. Deliverance is here. Deliverance is here. Deliverance is here. Shukatabo shata. Come on, I need you to praise the Lord because your praise is motivating people to come. They're moving outside their guilt right now, outside their shame, and they're saying, I want it broken. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, come on. There's three or four more. You're still coming. I'm going to wait. Somebody praise the Lord while they come. Come on, that's Holy Ghost right there. That's Holy Ghost. Deliverance is here. Deliverance is here. Come here. Come here, prophet. Were you addicted last year? Yes, sir. How bad? Very bad. I was going on three and four day benders, staying up all day, all night. Yes, sir. It was... And what happened? In one moment, the Lord set me free. I break it off of you, Dad. It's happening right now. It's happening right now. It's happening right now.
na 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 ma ha shi da 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 ba shi sha na 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 ma the lord said everybody who's battling cancer or a cancer report come on the stage right now sha da 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 ba ta sha Come on, God, I need you to praise God because the Lord is flipping the script today. Come on the stage. If you believe God can heal cancer, y'all know, I, listen, I never do this, so when I do it, God is in it. I need you to give the Lord a praise and give the Lord the glory. That's right. Right there, right there, right there. John, sing me a healing song. I want everybody that believes in healing. This ain't hype, y'all. This ain't hype. You say, well, Pastor, this isn't what I was expecting. Sometimes God gives us what we need. What if somebody gets healed from cancer today? Oh, Jesus, Jesus, just bring them up here. Sometimes you deal with stage four cancer. Even our speaker yesterday, she was rest, she's traveling the nation speaking, and they diagnosed her with stage four cancer. And she said she went to the doctor, and she said her cancer is beginning to melt away. Come on. And, and listen, today this is a stage for F-O-R cancer to get healed. There's a different stage four going on right now. I said, there's a different stage four right now. So let me encourage you. Where is Herschel here? Herschel, I want you to come in and stand for your father-in-law. I want to tell you guys something. Two years ago, one of my closest friends, the Lord laid him on my heart and I called him. And I said, the Lord put you on my heart. What's going on? He said, he said, you ain't going to believe it. He said, I am in the tube right now getting a CAT scan. And they diagnosed him with cancer and said he will not live. He pastors a huge church in Jacksonville. I preach for him constantly. Every month, just about it, I'm up there preaching. They said, you, you, you won't live. The doctor would not even give him a percentage. He said, is it 1%? He said, I can't even say that. That's two years ago. He had 22 spots on his brain alone. That's two years ago. You know what he's doing this morning? He's preaching in his church. I said, he's preaching in his church. I'm trying to tell you there's a healer. There is a healer. There is a healer. Yes, it is. Somebody open your mouth and bless the healer today. This is a stage for cancer to be healed. Stage four cancer. Sing a heal. Just sing a healing song. Y'all raise your hands. Pastor John is gonna sing over you, then I'm gonna pray for you. Healing is here. Come on now, come on. Healing is here. It's your brother, your daddy, your husband, your son, your daughter. And I believe it. Oh, healing is here. Oh, healing is here. Oh, yes, it is.
just can't stay any longer. His perfect love is casting out fear. Somebody thank God for the river in the room right now. No, 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 I need you to thank the Lord for the river in the room. Can I just obey God? You okay with that? I'm going to do it whether you are or not. But how many of you can say, Pastor Rayleigh, keep going. We need this in the church again. We need deliverance. I tell you, the last thing I would do was leave. I wouldn't leave for nothing. I, I, listen, if somebody tries to leave, you just look at them with a side eye. Come on and say, my Lord, here's what I feel in my spirit. Last year, I was preaching at a church and there was a pastor there and I called him up. I didn't know his story. I knew nothing about him from St. Louis. He had finished the year before with $7 in his bank account, seven for his church, $7. He had nothing. The Holy Spirit came on me and I said, God is about to release resources into your hands supernaturally. He, I said, it's gonna be quick. And you know, sometimes you say things like that and you think, oh my goodness, Lord, you're gonna have to do this. 
because you put me out there. Well, I went back to that same church this week. That same man had come to preach. He had finished the year before with $7 in his bank account. Y'all ain't ready. This year, he's got $30 million in his church account. I'm telling you, God is releasing resources for the righteous right now. People who will do the right thing, people who will preach the gospel, people who will release the word. John, come up here right now. I'm going to release it over all of you. But bring your wife if she's with you. Oh, John, I want to tell you and your sweet wife that y'all ain't seen nothing yet. The Lord said every twist and every turn was necessary because you could not get to where you were going 10 years ago. So the Lord said, I had to take you through 10 years. I had to take you through the process because I couldn't prosper you the way I wanted to prosper you. I couldn't unlock Renee in your life what I wanted to unlock. So the Lord said, when you look back, even when it was most painful, God said, I was positioning you for prosperity. I was positioning you to be blessed because there was too much drama going on. There were too many issues that were trying to suck out of you what God wanted to do but the Lord said now it's time to get ready you've already seen it started happening you've already seen resources come into your hands but God said they're gonna look at you and say isn't that boy from Bunnell how in the world did a Bunnell boy get blessed like that but God said he put an entrepreneur anointing in you the Lord said you've always figured it out the Lord said Renee you were the missing piece you guys had to come together and now I am releasing over you prosperity supernatural in the name of Jesus Shanda Carrie and Susie come stand right here Shanda Sarai somebody better get out can wait just a minute right here right here raise up your hands I heard the Lord say he's already blessed you but he is not through the Lord said he blessed you because he knew that you would bless him. He said every blessing you have is attached to him. It's attached to the kingdom and it's attached for the glory of God. And there is a new season about to be unlocked of prosperity. I release it. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Somebody give the Lord a praise. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Sing provision over this house. Somebody raise your hand if you're ready for a season of breakthrough prosperity. Come on. For the good of the kingdom. For the name of the Lord. Not a prosperity that is selfish, but a prosperity that enables you to do the work and, and give to the kingdom. Sing it, John. y'all are family come on give God a praise for the Telfers as they come up no that's not a praise I mean give God praise thank you for your blessings Jesus thank you for your provision Jesus oh 
I just feel like things have shifted in your lives and is that right? That's what I feel. I don't, I don't know anything, but that's what I heard the Holy Spirit say. And you've had avenues of income that have been good and strong, but the Lord said, I've changed things now. And the Lord said, you're going to have supernatural direction on what's next. He said, don't you even fear? There's a crystal clearness coming into your lives. And you, God said he's going to bless you exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask or even think. The Lord said, it's not just on you, daughter. It's on your children. The Lord said, it is generational. The Lord said, this thing is generational. Your children will serve the Lord. They're going to give to God. I release over you, mighty woman of God. Shed, I release it over you, daughter. There's ministry in this one. I release it over you, daughter. Somebody better praise the Lord with a family. Man of God, new ideas, innovation. It comes your way. It comes your way. Right now for every dreamer. Come on, everybody that needs for prosperity, a breakthrough. Raise your hand right now. Come on, raise your hands right now. If you're believing God for financial breakthrough, shatarabakashatarabashaya. I break the back of poverty in this room right now. I break the back of generational curses in this room right now. I declare that there is a new wave of God's blessing that is being released over every Calvary campus. All eight campuses are now receiving a wave of prosperity. Your money's going to go further. Doors are going to open up prosperity the gas prices won't bother you the economy can't touch you the Lord said I'm raising up millionaires the Lord said I'm raising up people who are gonna give to my kingdom somebody give God a praise sing John sing. Come up here with me. Raise your hands, Mary. There are some things that you've been desiring, things that you've been wanting, things you, in your heart, you haven't told a lot of people about it, but there's some things that you've been desiring, and it feels like, you know, God has been so faithful to you, and you have blessed him for that, but there are some things that you feel like still need to be done, manifested. There are things that you have put in the hands of the Lord and you have felt like, God, did you forget me? And God said, I never did forget you because I was preparing you. The Lord said, I couldn't bring what I wanted to bring to you because I love you too much to give you what you're not ready for. The Lord said, everything you've been through, even your trouble has been your teacher. And the Lord said, what's about to be unlocked in your life is a beautiful thing. The Lord said he's going to begin to give you the desires of your heart. He's always provided your needs. But God, but the Lord said that he's going to get you beyond just providing for your needs. The Lord said in the next season, he's going to give you the desires of your heart. So I release it over you right now. Somebody just raise your hands and receive it. Come here right here. Come on, come on, darling. Yeah, right here. Uh-huh. Come on, give God a praise. Okay, okay. Oh, no, 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 sing, Pastor John. I feel a river in here. Somebody worship the Lord. I feel a river in here. I feel a river in here. 
Sing one song and I'm gonna pray that way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Somebody raise your hands and say, way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop. Hey, Lord, God, I'm singing it over you. Even when you don't see it, he's working. Even when you don't feel it, he's working. He never stops, he never stops working. He never stops, he never stops. I'm singing it over you one more time. Even when you don't see it, he's working. Even when you don't feel it, he's working. He never stops, he never stops working. So the Lord said that you have been dealing with anxiety, that the enemy has tried to keep you worried, that you get it off of you. Am I on the track? Is it right? You know it's true. I'm not making it up, right? So you, you get it off of you and then it gets back on you. And you don't even, you try not to even talk about it. But there are times when it sits on you like a weight on your chest. The enemy has been trying to rob you of your peace. You've been worried over your husband because he's in law enforcement. Am I right? Okay. The Lord said he's about to bring a supernatural peace into your life. The Lord said he's going to fill your home with joy. The Lord said your children are going to be mighty because they're going to see the goodness of God lived in you and your husband. I break fear off of you. I break anxiety off of you. I break. God said I'm working. Somebody right now, God said I'm breaking fear. If you've had anxiety, Pastor, don't get up here. Pastor, don't. Come break the spirit of anxiety in this place, the spirit of fear. If you've been dealing with anxiety, just raise your hands. In the name of Jesus, we come against the spirit of anxiety with the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus Christ. And we speak to that spirit. Devil, we know it's a spirit. God has not given us a spirit of fear, anxiety, or worry. So we know it has been birthed out of the pit of hell. It is a lie of Satan himself. So we come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. And I command it to go now in Jesus' name.
If you've been addicted to vaping, raise up your hands right now. I break it off of you and I see it right there. I see it over here. I bind every spirit that comes against you that causes you to be addicted to vaping. I break it off of your life right now. Come on, somebody better give God a praise. I break it right now. I break it right now. I break it right now. I break it. I just getting broken online right now. Hundreds of people, thousands of people are tuning in. It's getting broken right now. Thank the Lord that there is no time or distance with God. That it's happening right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Is, is Gina here, Pastor Gina from Wisconsin? Come up here, Pastor Gina. Somebody give God praise. These are our. This is our family campus in Racine, Wisconsin. No, I want you to praise God that we're not just in Ormond. We're all the way up in Wisconsin with this anointing. One of the things that the enemy has tried to afflict you with through the years is to try to make you feel like you're not enough. But I hear the Lord say that, am I right? You never told me this, right? No? And so the enemy has tried to make you feel less than. The enemy has tried to make you question your call. Can I even do it? Did I really hear the Lord? I'm not equipped. Others are better than me. You've, you've always believed something inside of you tried to convince you that you were not enough. And the Lord said he designed you not to be enough because you would need him and he's more than enough. The Lord said there is deliverance in your mouth. Yes. The yes. Lord said there's more to you than you ever dreamed yes. or imagined. The Lord said when you've tried to make changes and, and you've tried to escape, the Lord said he never let you. Because see, Wisconsin racing, that old area has your names on it. <laughs> that you are bringing red hot revival to that cold place. Shabababaya. <laughs> and listen pastor tyler is going to be used greatly but the lord said so will you the lord said i'm anointing you daughter with fresh oil the lord said no more fear the lord said no more comparing yourself the lord said no more no more no more no more the lord said he's about to usher you in the next 24 months into a glory and an anointing like you've never known the lord said the glory that sits on you and your husband is generational all three of your children are going to walk in an anointing that breaks the yoke but the Lord said you are a mother you are a mother in training a spiritual mother to your whole church and uh, come on don't I want you to release what's on you release it on her right now Somebody give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord a praise. John and Kim, get up here. Somebody, I need you to clap your hands. I need you to shout. I need you to do something. Come on, I'm going to release something over the house right now, but now we're just in the river. How many of y'all want to stay in the river? You okay with it? I said, who wants to stay in the river? No, if you want to stay in the river, come on, pull on it right now. If you want to stay in the river. Mm. The Lord said decades ago, you guys were broken beyond repair. Your marriage was broken. Your lives were broken beyond repair. The Lord said it was an impossible thing. John your mind was so turned that there was no way in the natural that it would ever be restored. And Kim, you sat in those moments not quitting and not giving up, but you, you had a lot of this in you. Why? Why am I not enough? Why is this happening? Why? But you see, I heard the Lord say, John, the enemy meant it for evil. He said, but I turned it for good. 
He, he said, I knew you folks were going to struggle before you ever struggled. I knew you were going to have issues before you ever had issues. So the Lord said, I had to allow you folks to get broken in the way you got broken because you couldn't be used in the way that you've been used right now. They have restored countless marriages with their marriage. They, come on now, they, they are being used to restore marriages, not just in this house, but across the nation. So the Lord said, even when it looked like I would abandon you, I never abandoned you. I was getting you ready for a way that I could use you because now you can stand up before people and say, if he can put our world back together, he absolutely can put Shandaraba, Shana, Somebody give God a praise. right now get up here be honest don't be prideful if you're struggling in your marriage get up here right now if your husband's with you your wife's with you get up here right now God's about to release breakthrough in marriages sing it Pastor John Rejoice, here they come, here they come. You never stop working. Even when, even when I don't see it, you work. Even when, even when I don't feel it, you work. Even when, you never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when, even when I don't see it, you work. Even when, even when I don't feel it, you work. You never stop, you never stop. You Come here, never Pastor Dom. You never stop. Come here, Pastor Dom. Somebody say, even when, even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Never stop. You never stop. Never stop. Never stop. You 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 never stop. So here's what I hear the Lord say. There's many of you on this stage. And some of you are wrestling with this reality. It's not that you don't love your mate. You just don't like them anymore. You just don't even like each other anymore. And the enemy has released that over you like a lie. And so I hear the Lord say, I'm not just going to bring love back. I'm going to bring the I like you back. Y'all, you can't make this up. God's doing something in the room. There's some of you that the betrayal has been intense and you don't know if you can recover. 
but yet the Lord has not allowed you to quit. Some of you are wrestling with things, and here's what you've been doing. Can I talk to you like a father? Do I have permission? Now, y'all know I'm going to do it whether you give it to me or not. But here's what the deal is, precious. The Lord wants to bring back the like into your marriage where you like to have dinner together. You like to sit down together. You like one another. But I'm going to tell you what God's about to lift off of your marriage. Blame. He's blaming you. You're blaming her. It's his fault. It's her fault. Listen, if both of y'all fall, what you have to do, you say, well, I didn't do it, but you can't hang on to it. You can't get to where you're going and stay where you are. You got to rise. So God's going to break a spirit of blame off of you right now. You feel that, Pastor? No, what's the Lord saying to you? I feel that. That God is breaking blame, that spirit of blame off of people. That's what I heard when you said that. That's what I heard. It's that blame. We blame each other. And that selfishness can't live in marriage. God is healing that, I believe. Y'all just begin to worship the Lord together. Come on, God's about to shift this thing. Hallelujah. I declare romance is coming back. Can I take my time, y'all? Can I just take my time? I said, I declare that romance is coming back. So, so here's... Do something. And God's going to be glorified in it. Slip up your hands, everybody. You are so beautiful to me. You are so beautiful. Ah, God's giving that back to you right now. Oh, to me, can't you see? You're everything, everything I hope for. Sing it, John. You're everything I need. You are so. If you're standing by your mate, just reach over and take him by the hand. To me, sing it, John. Come up here and sing it, son. You are so I want you to think the good thoughts about your mate right now. I want you to think the to healing me. thoughts. healing you guys right now. you 
John and Kim, I want you to move through and let's lay hands on people right now. Somebody stretch your hands toward them right now. You are so beautiful to me. You are so Jesus at the center of it all. That's how it's going to get healed now. Sing it. Jesus From beginning to the end, it will always be. It's always been you, Jesus. If you want him at the center of it all, raise your hands right now. Somebody say Jesus. Oh, it's come on, come on. Raise your hands and say.
unlocking something now. I want everybody that's baptized in the Holy Ghost. I want you to throw your hands in the air and you're going to do the work of an intercessor. Listen, I want you to begin to pray in the Holy Ghost right now and pray it out loud. God said right now I'm unlocking new dimensions. Shout every one of you praises. Put that mic in your mouth and pray in the Holy Ghost with me. Don't pray in the Holy Ghost with me. Shout out out of Osaray. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. you to raise your hands because I need to prophesy over you. The Lord said that you need to not allow yourself to be inadequate, to feel inadequate, or to second guess yourself. The Lord said that the enemy has tried to tell you, you can't do this because you're a woman. You can't lead in this capacity because you are a woman. You can't pastor this church because you are a woman. But the Lord said, I get great joy in using my daughters. The Lord said, there's an oil on your life. There's a glory on your life that only your journey could have produced. The Lord said the things that you encountered, the things that you endured are what has released this in your life. So God said no longer are you going to feel inadequate. No longer are you going to feel like I can't do this because I'm a woman. The Lord said you're about to open your mouth and when you do salvation is going to invade your community. People are going to be blown away way because they're going to find out that God uses you don't matter what color you are doesn't matter where you come from it doesn't matter if you're rich or poor it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman the Lord said I'm about to use you and you're going to become a general in your community I release anointing from the top of your head to the soles of your feet and the Lord said all the while you thought you were going to do sound you thought you were just going to be behind the scenes but God said I'm bringing you to the forefront because I put something on you you didn't even know I put on you but the Lord said you're discovering it more every day so Pastor Chad I release a glory and an anointing somebody give God praise oh hallelujah thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to do two more things. I'm going to do two more things, and then we'll see what the Lord does. But I need you to stop right now and give God praise for the breakthrough that's already come to the house. Cheryl, get up here. Cheryl, 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 Cheryl. Somebody give God praise for Cheryl. God said everything he does for Cheryl. Get up here, Cheryl. He said he's going to do it in people's homes that will receive it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Cheryl, you've been in a season where you felt invisible. You wondered, if God, are you, are you moving in my life? Are you moving for my family? 
and you have sat in silence and watched things happen and the enemy has steadily tried to rob you of the confidence that you have in your family and the things you'll believe in God for. I'll break every yoke off of your family, woman of God. You, you felt like, Lord, do you know where I'm at? God said, I'm working behind the scenes. The Lord said, I'm shifting what you can't shift. I'm moving what you can't move. I'm changing what you can. Somebody, it's happening in your house while it's happening in hers. I declare it over your sons. I declare it over your grandchildren. I declare it over your daughters. Breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Breakthrough. Come on. Breakthrough. I want everybody that wants breakthrough for your child. Open your mouth and give God a praise. Somebody give him praise. Somebody give him praise. Come on, raise up your hands. Don't sing a song of deliverance over the house. Sing a song of deliverance. Sing a song of deliverance. Sing a song of deliverance. That's what the Bible said. He sings over us with deliverance. stuff but Beverly the Lord said when you rolled up here and you began to praise him in the chair he said it unlocked something in the room that we're walking in right now Beverly Brooks I call healing and strength in your body Beverly Brooks I say that there's gonna come a day soon when you ain't gonna dance in the chair but you're gonna be out of the chair giving God glory Sing it, John.
that's in this house is about to get in their house. So right now, wherever you're watching, somebody make a little noise, let them know we're a family. Come on, even if they're in Europe, we're a family. Even if you're in Africa, we're a family. We send breakthrough to your house. We send healing to your house. We send peace to your house. The Lord of the breakthrough comes right to where you are. Now, if you know, raise up your hands that God is the God of the breakthrough. I want you to slip up your hands. Every breakthrough you need that he has designed shall come to pass. No weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. The Lord said, who can thwart my plan? Who can stop God? The Lord said, prepare yourselves for you are about to step into a river of breakthrough and revival like you have never known. The Lord said, I am doing a new thing. The Lord said, don't wait to praise me until it manifests. Praise me now because it's on the way. There are things that are on the way and things he's already done in this service. So praise him for what he's done and praise him for what's on the way. One, two, three, give him praise. God seals some things today. Holy Ghost, you've been in the room. Seal it. Come on. If you feel like God touched you in your seat, just raise up your hands and just say, seal it, God. Say, he didn't call me out. I didn't have to call you out. The Holy Ghost is so in this room. He's online. If you're grateful now, remain standing, and then uh, I want you to give God a mighty praise. If you're, if you're able... If you're able, if you're able, I want you to stand, if, if you're able. So, Lord, I, mean, I feel like the reason I'm doing this is because I just want the Lord to know, Lord, I stand in awe of you today. I stand here today, and I thank you for talking to me yesterday about today. I give you praise that when the river wants to come, you put it in this house to say, come on, river. Come on, do what you want, Lord. Now, here is the truth and reality. Our church is on another dimension. Can you feel it? I mean, where we've been in the past is supernatural. But make a little noise if you feel that our church is like, it's, on a, it's in a whole other realm. And today I'm going to ask you to join Pastor Don and I in giving. We had somebody scheduled to give. You say, well, Pastor Rayleigh, you didn't even receive an offering. Well, I didn't forget because I want to give you an opportunity to sow into this atmosphere. I'm actually going to leave here and step on an airplane in just a few minutes. But I could not, I could not get away.
from what God wanted to do. How many of you, you say, I want my apostle to hear the Lord and I want him to obey God? And one of the things that I found out is that God blesses us when we put him first. Pastor Dawn, today, I want us to sow. Honey, I feel like I want to sow $500. And it's not attached to my time. That's just attached to the goodness of God. Now, $500 is a lot for me. It might not be for you, but it's a lot for me. But I just feel like I want to give today. How many of you know we can't outgive God? Anybody believe that? God may speak to you to so significantly. We're building a youth center. Who's excited about the next generation? Come on. How, whatever God speaks to you to give, I want you to obey the Lord. But sow a seed into this atmosphere and watch God move. You can give online. You can text to give. You can give in your envelopes. I'm telling you what's about to happen. Can I speak in faith? Our church is going to come out of debt. And we're not going to know anybody, anything. And y'all think we start campuses now? Y'all think we build churches now? Wait till all the debt is gone. Who can believe with Apostle that all the debt's going to dry up in this place? All right, I want you to get your offerings together. And let me say this. Even though we got a plane to catch, we're doing something called a, a, a new new people party and if your new people come to the party it's going to be right back here in the yeah, back we won't be at guest central or the coffee we, we shop won't be we're going to be back central. here so. we're going to be back here and it's come right down with the doors liz make sure we got people there giving directions i know pastor liz we will right there see look at them they got all <laughs> kind of stuff over there i want to meet you there if i haven't met you i want to hug your neck I just want to tell you, if you don't want to be hugged, I'll just air hug you, okay? But I want everybody to get an offering right now and hold it before the Lord. We were going to recap the women's video, right? Yeah, we were. But we'll do that next week. Because the women showed out this weekend to Calvary. Does anybody have anything to be thankful for? I hope everybody's sowing. hope everybody gives an offering today. And joins Pastor Don and I. Take your offerings and hold them before the Lord. I don't even know what to say, but thank you. I said, I don't even know what to say, Lord, but thank you. How many of you are glad that God brought you in the room today? You by live stream, don't miss your moment. God's speaking to you to give right now. You give. Pastor Don, will you pray over us? Father, we lift these offerings these gifts, this giving to you, Lord. We don't give to anyone but you. Father, today, Lord, I'm thankful to sow into good ground. I'm thankful, Lord, to sow into revival. Hallelujah. Lives being set free and delivered and changed. And Lord, as I sow, I say, do it again. Do it over and over and over again. Lord, I thank you for the opportunity to serve your house and your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Just sing this with me as we receive this offering. Great is thy faithfulness, O oh God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with me. Thou changest not thy compassions, they fail not. Listen, devil. As thou hast been, let the enemy know, he forever will be. Once a healer, always a healer. Come on. Great is thy name. Can we have a moment together before we release you? Morning by morning.
about to bless you out of here, but raise your hands and say, Great is. Raise your heart and say, Now let me speak the blessing over you. Raise up your hands. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May He cause His face to shine upon you and bring you peace. I decree and declare that as you walk out, that the power and presence of God walks out with you. It's in your car when you get in it. It's in your bed when you lay at it. It's at your table when you eat. I declare that you don't shake this off, but it attaches itself to you. Holy Spirit, we raise our hands now before the Lord, and we say thank you. We say thank you. Come on, somebody do it. We say thank you. I bless my precious people that you put in my care. In Jesus' name, we bless online. Calvary, I love you so much. I said I love you so much. Hey, tell, tell everybody on your row, say, I'm Apostle's favorite. Come on, that, you are. You are. If you're my guest, I want you to come and join me. I love you. What a day. Online, thank you. Sing.